All right. Um, Nick Farrar, Kenny Nolan. Um, we uh, <laughs> that was a, a lot more hard fought than uh, than the first time we played those guys. That we we knew that they um, they've improved tremendously. The, the first time we played them this year, um, you know they're they're young and they struggled a little bit and uh, against some of the pressure we gave them. But today they really stepped up and uh, and gave us a fit. And, and we expected that, but it's kind of hard sometimes to to convince your players that you know hey this is going to be a whole lot tougher than than it was the first time. Um, and, and you know tip our cap to to Broughton and their staff. They've done a great job preparing their, their team over the course of the last month. They're um, right much better than they were the first time we saw them. And that's that's a testament to their kids and their coaches. Okay, what, uh, Coach, obviously Nick Satellite's going to get the headlines, but he was going with Jeremiah Baker just today. He didn't take the shot, but he had eight assists in one turnover. When he's playing like that, running a team like that, making sure everyone's in the right position to see, how, how, how much does that make your life easier? Well, um, I don't know if it makes my life easier in the sense that he's probably more upset about the one turnover than the eight assists. So uh, we, he's our resident old man. He's an 84-year-old man and a 17-year-old body. We like to tell him. So he's probably grumpy about that that one turnover uh, that he had today. But um, he had a seven assist, zero turnover game earlier this year too. So um, he's had some good ones and he's very capable of that. And he, he does so much that people don't see. Um, he's a college basketball player. But he's, he blends so much into, like these guys put up these, these numbers, uh, and, and Jaden Bellotti as well is a little bit banged up today, put up really good offensive numbers, and a guy like Jeremiah can hide, but he's, he's, he's a player, and he was a really big key for us today. And he's feeling terrible, by the way. He's sick as a dog right now. He, he's pounding medicine just to be able to be out here. I'm going to piggyback this question a little bit. 24 assists on 32 main baskets. It is, uh, and that's something we've gotten better about. And I thought even in the end, we weren't guarding like we wanted to. A couple times we were really good. Well, it was hot and cold. There were a couple times we looked really pretty running our stuff and and getting some nice assists and, and some nice layups. And a couple times we over dribbled it and didn't know what we should have done. But um, yeah, that's a pretty good percentage. And and the games we played well this year, it's been a similar kind of uh, kind of line. Kind of line. Uh, Kenny, you're a kid that's not originally from here. I moved here from New Mexico a year ago. What has it been like kind of taking in the North Carolina basketball culture and being able to play in an event like this in your career? Um, I love it, honestly. Uh, the crowd, the hype, um, the players. You play against great players every day. So I really love I love playing in this environment. Next two games in, you're here for 35 points a game. You stay on this page, you'll be top five all the time in terms of history. You just the basket looking big for you out here? Um, just playing hard, playing 110%, like just playing through the motions, running the offense that coach tells us to do is just getting, getting scoring options, just playing the game, just letting things come to me. That's how, I, that's how it's happening right now. So. Uh, for both the players, you guys had a really quick turnaround, obviously, an emotional high last night coming in front of a sold out crowd of 3,500 people in a big game that expended a lot of energy. Now you got to turn around and quickly get caught. How are you guys able to get focused and keep your foot on the gas pedal? Oh, I yelled a lot. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, you know, and, and that was our big thing. And, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. Is um, you know, if if we're going to be really good, it's it's things like this: going to bed late off of a high, and then waking up first thing in the morning, have to come do this again. Um, and, and I thought they responded well. And you guys could add more to that. I mean, yeah, sure. But that's not an easy task, too. And then you're playing the home team, who yeah. played their tails off in their last game against Farmville Central. So they, they, they were a worthy opponent this morning. Yeah. Go ahead, Kenny. Coach, uh, you know, Nick's got scoring numbers, but how was his decision making against some defenses to be able to score or get the ball to his teammates? Um, I, I think uh, we, we actually talked just walking into the building today about you know some opportunities he's going to have. Um, just because when he catches the ball, people crowd him a lot. And I thought he did a good job looking and kicking out the shooters. Um, and, and just to say something on that, and, and just kind of following yesterday and speaking to folks yesterday, um, people ask a lot of times what kind of player he is. And people say, well, he can't do this, and he doesn't look like that. And, and my response to that is just, I mean, do you value production, or do you value a guy who looks a certain way and has a certain, like, reach and has a something her height or a certain vertical leap because if you're looking for that from Nick you're not going to get it but if you're looking for someone to play basketball and that includes passing the ball that includes uh, you know taking the best shot that includes playing inside playing out whatever the defense gives you he does that he's a freaking basketball player and to watch his game get nitpicked and I know I'm a little protective of the guy but to watch people nitpick his game drives me crazy and I'm like you know 
Can he play this position? Who cares, right? I mean, he can play, and that's the key to it. And uh, yeah, you have to forgive me for going on a rant there, but I've heard this stuff for a year and a half about what he can't do, and I'm like, look okay, at what he can do. I mean, it's insane. I mean, the guy can play. So anyway, I shouldn't brag on him publicly because now he's going to think I'm going to say nice things about him all the time, and I'm not. But, uh, <laughs> but like that drives me to I had to say it in this forum because I think it's important that everybody hears it. It's just it been eating at me for a while, and um, and just to watch his recruitment work last year, it took so long for it to happen. And um, the whole time I'm thinking, are we going to value production here? Or are we looking for a guy that fits a certain mold? Because he doesn't fit a mold. I mean, he hates it when I say this. But two years ago, he's a six-four like fat guy that had to play in the post. Right? He hates that. But you know, he's he's shaped his body, he's shaped his game. He's done everything to be a productive player. And who cares what he looks like? He can play. Does it accentuate your point though that I mean, he ends up thirty-five points with five assists, also? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and <laughs> he can pass the ball pretty well. Um, and that's, you know, I think the biggest thing are, and we talked about, I mentioned this earlier, we talked about just walking in, about getting the shooters ready, uh, because they're going to get some shots. You know, we played Broughton once, they're going to collapse on him. And uh, and I thought he did a good job finding it. And I'm sure, um, you know, Kenny and, and Jackson and some of those guys would tell you, like, man, we, we're going to knock some shots down on Monday because we didn't feel like we made as many as we should have today. But they, sh they didn't shoot the ball poorly, um, but they're pretty elite shooters, and, and they're going to knock down a few more in some big games this year. I think we're good. Okay.